Yo, yo, check this out. This out. Previously heard. Previously heard. Good Hope FM. Let's go. This is Warrior Woman. It is time for Warrior Woman, and today I am so super excited about my warrior woman for today oh let me tell you it's a star-studded situation in studio right now my guest was born and raised in los angeles she started out as a dancer a singer and a musician landing her first major feature debut as the star of the box office hit step up to the streets in 2008 and then she reprised her role in 2014 um, in step up all in now she's also also played in starring roles in uh, Sorority Rao, S. Darko, Burning Bright. And she's most excited about her upcoming completed films, Just Below Sunset, Love Is All You Need and Love and Communication. She's in studio with us today. I am so super excited to announce her. And I promise you, when you hear who I have in studio, you are going to lose your mind. Questions are welcome, of course, on the WhatsApp line 071-286-0639. Brianna Evigan, welcome Some to Good Up with them. How are you? Just hold on, say that again. <laughs> what a wonderful, wonderful introduction. Thank wow. you. Wow, I tell you, when you walked into studio, I was just like, are my eyes deceiving me right now? Yeah. Are my eyes actually deceiving me right now? Uh, it is so wonderful to have you in studio. It's wonderful to have you in Cape Town. Interesting story, you've actually moved to Africa. I have. What? Tell me, tell Africa me more. stole my heart over. Has it though? Yeah, it really yeah. has, yeah. I started in South Africa yeah. about a year and a half ago. And I'm back and forth now to Zimbabwe in here, so calling it my home. Amazing. And uh, loving every minute of it. Loving every minute of it. Listen, I visited Zambia last year. My heart, I think I left my heart in Zambia and I said to them, I will come back and get it. Yep. There is something so beautiful about that part of Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe, uh, Mozambique, all of these places. That's just, it's, it's yeah. these are gems yeah. that I hope every single human being gets to visit. I hope so too. But it's yeah. so wonderful to have you in studio. You've had quite an illustrious career. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I tried many, many a times to copy your moves <laughs> in Step Up 2 and Step Up All In. I did have uh, some designs on being a dancer back in the day. Never could get it right, but you were absolutely incredible. What's your career been like so far? I mean, you've you've had quite an amazing one. A lot of amazing music under your, uh, movies rather, under your belt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's been... An amazing ride of a lot yeah. of different films, a couple of different series. Yeah. Um, I actually am missing doing live performances yes. and dance and singing and yeah. play piano and all of that. But um, <clears throat> now that I'm out here in Africa, we've uh, started our own media company. So yes. I'm excited to be getting back in front of the camera, behind the camera and developing our own content. I love that. Let's talk more about that because after a decade of uh, global explore, exploration, rather, you have witnessed the challenges facing many people and communities around the world. How did Move Me Movement start? It started with uh, me and my business partner, Stuart Newton, and uh, he one day asked me what I want to do, and I said, I want to move people, yeah. and I want to be moved as well. So mm -hmm. we came up with uh, inspiring media that compels action, and our company is called Move Me. Wow. Um, so we want to be able to bring solutions and impact filmmaking and docuseries and TV shows to uh, to people so they can actually be involved mm -hmm. and hopefully greatly impacted You know, when they finish watching it. like yeah. Let's give them something to be a part of. I absolutely love that. And uh, we'll us as South Africans and us as your fellow Africans be able to jump on that bandwagon as well? Yes, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know, there's, um, I don't know, there's a lot of gaps throughout the entire world that mm -hmm. hopefully we can help be a part of bridging and um, uplift communities, uplift actors, entertainers, artists, whoever it may be, yeah. to um, inspire them. And uh, that's a big part of why I'm here, hopefully to build an awesome foundation with our company and bring yeah. people into it. I love that. And that's why you're here. You're a warrior woman today. You're <laughs> surrounded by yes. other warrior women. <laughs> yes. This show is dedicated to uh, uplifting women, yeah. to empowering women, not just women, men, men as well, because I think yeah. men are also part of the conversation. We need to work together in order to move forward together with one another. But why is it so important to you? Which part? Women empowerment and empowerment in general. <laughs> like, all of yeah. It. Yeah. First of all, you're also just a yeah, warrior woman. It's oh, written all you. over you and I in your eyes it. and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so women empowerment, you know, it's important to me. I love what you just said because um, 
as much as I'm I'm a huge fan of uplifting women, bringing more um, job opportunities to women, and yeah. making sure that women are equal. Yeah. Um, coming from the places we've come from, I uh, I, I don't want men to be discredited yes. or put lower uh, yeah. by any means. You mm-hmm. know, so that's a big fight for me as well to keep it equal. But women, um, women are resilient. Yeah. And um, 100%. we're these mother naturing type of creatures that um, have something a little special. And now that I just had a baby, I think we're aliens. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, this is crazy what we're <laughs> what capable of. What can we not do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that being said, I think um, I think women have um, um, very genuine hearts and, and are often mm-hmm. born that way. And I think the way we think and believe and the way we run things uh, is very different. And I mm-hmm. think that's a beautiful thing to be behind. And uh, yeah, I support women and being at the top in, in any way that they possibly can. I think women are powerhouses. I love that. Yeah. I love that. As you mentioned, you've just had a baby. One would never be able to tell. Uh, um, where do you see the next couple of years going? You've been a storyteller uh, for like uh, 15 years. You've been in the entertainment industry. Your move to South Africa and Africa has been six years in the making. Mm-hmm. You have got so many projects that I know that are still yet to come out. What can we expect to see from you in the next couple of months and years? Yeah. Yeah, so um, uh, we are working on a docu series right now that yeah. uh, gets into the communities over in Bushbuck Ridge. Wow! Um, the series will also go into Zimbabwe, yeah. and we're working on the content right now. So hopefully, it will Love. end in Mozambique. Yes. So that'll keep Ooh. us very busy for a while. So exciting! Yes, but that gets into women empowerment communities, yeah. uplifting communities. Um, also, it gets into Abundant Village, which is our water, food, energy security model that we've been building the blueprints of to um, hope hopefully bring security to different areas yeah. that are missing these basic human needs that um, should be met yeah. uh, and if we can do that and spread that around the world I will be uh, very very pleased with our work <laughs> and uh, a feature film at mm-hmm. the end of the year so uh, anti-poaching uh, feature film you know it's fictional sure. character driven action drama type movie yeah. that I'll get to act in again which I'm really looking forward to uh, I get to play a little ranger life. Yes. Do you get to kick some serious <laughs> and poaching Abs- butt? Absolutely. Oh, I'm there with you. <laughs> Teach me your ways. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and then, and then, yeah, you know, with the company, um, my hopes is within the next three years that we have a roster of projects growing and can be taking outside projects and bringing them in and developing them around the world. Yeah. It's an international company, so plan to work everywhere. I love it. I love it. One of our uh, very uh, uh, big um, morning show family members, uh, her name's Petula, says, Hi, Leanne. Please tell Brianna we love her rusty voice. Uh, I know she doesn't mean like rusty, but it's, you know, that beautiful yes, rasp. raspy <laughs> voice. There we go. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. I hear you. <laughs> I love it. I love it as well. Brianna, this show, I think, is is a really, really important one. I know many men and women listen to it. And uh, we interview people from all walks of life mm. who really have done incredible things. Uh, some of them have uh, started off with nothing and achieved much. Mm-hmm. Some of them have just uh, changed the lives of the people in their communities and those mm. around them. Uh, and I think your story is one that is so uh, amazing. You have moved to a completely completely different continent. You're starting a brand new life, creating an incredible movement that is going to change the lives of others. For those who are looking at your life and career and uh, who are being inspired by it right now and for lo- and are looking maybe for a little bit of motivation yeah. and inspiration as to how they too can achieve great things and yeah. uh, live the life of their dreams. Yeah. What would your motivation, inspiration and advice be to them? Um, you know, I'd say... If it's something you really love and that you know you you must do, um, don't ever give up on it. Keep going. Keep asking for that job opportunity. You know, people say, I I just had an Uber driver that said, I I tried out for this thing, but they never got back to me. I said, did you reach back out to them? And he said, no. And I said, you need to keep reaching out to them. You have to fight for what you Mm -hmm. want. You have to um, work on what you want. You have to be passionate about what you want. And you have to, people need to believe you. Yeah. Um, So keep going. Don't stop. Um, love what you do and if you don't love what you do then move on to something else and find purpose to me purpose um, and knowing what that purpose is that you live with it will keep you going forever yeah and never give up hope never give up you know hope. there's that saying if you're um, suffering you can't dream mm. and I think that's true and if you aren't dreaming you're not living yeah and we need to be living and dreaming and, and following our, our missions in life yeah. to uh, success absolutely yeah 
Beautiful stuff. Well, Brianna, thank you so much for joining thank us on you. the show today. Thank you yeah. so much for moving to Africa. We're yeah, neighbors. We are. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait until I go to Zimbabwe. We're going to hang out and Come be besties. Out. We'll cook dinner for you. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot, cannot wait. Uh, any, um, where, where can we follow you? Where can we keep updated on yeah. what you're doing in life, especially with the Move Me movement? Yeah, so moveme.studio is mm-hmm. the website. You can check everything out there. There's a trailer for the docuseries, um, links to Abundant Village all that sort of stuff so you can be informed and then Brianna Evigan B-R-I-A-N-A E-V-I-G-A-N is uh, my Instagram page beautiful stuff Brianna Evigan is our warrior woman for today and we're so so happy give her a round of applause everybody thank you absolutely love it we got another message coming through here saying hello Leanne please tell Brianna that we are tuning in from Australia and she is so inspiring and we love her we from love Australia. you too. All the way from <laughs> Australia. We love you too. Listen, um, we're going to play out with a song that is uh, basically a celebration of your Step Up movies. Thank you so much awesome. for being here and uh, for shining your light and being our warrior woman for Thank today. You. Are you going to dance for me now? Um, we'll all dance together. <laughs> Make sure you watch out the uh, the social media uh, pages, of course. You'll see a little bit of that as we go. 11.30. Brianna Evigan, everyone. <laughs> Feeling for more, for more. Tune in to goodhopfm.co.za. It's all you need.